Hey guys, today's listener submitted question was, how do I monitor for heat stroke or heat exhaustion in my pet? Great question, tis the season where that's around the corner. So listen up. <laughs> so first of all, different breeds will be predisposed a little bit more. The brachiocephalic, so the squish nose breeds from Shih Tzus to Bulldogs and everything in between will be predisposed. One thing a lot of clients don't think about is how hot the concrete and the asphalt gets and they will actually get burns on their paw pads. So pay attention to that. We do have some previous videos on paw pad burns and a little bit on the heat stroke, but we wanted to revisit it since we had some social media questions on it. The second part of the question is what do they need to look for? First, know your dog, know your breed. If they're not used to being active, and they're a couch potato, don't go take them on a five mile hike just to be like, hey, we're gonna exercise. They're not ready for that. They gotta work up to it. Just like people when they're training for a half marathon or a marathon, you don't just wake up one day and go run five miles when you haven't done any miles at all. So baby steps with that. Ideally do things early in the morning or late in the evening. A good way to test that is put the inside of your wrist on the concrete for about five, 10 seconds. If it burns you, it's gonna burn them. Don't go yet. <laughs> Wait till it cools off more. <clears throat> and what are some of the things to look for? Excessive panning compared to normal. Depending on how severe the patients get, they will start having vomiting, diarrhea, be lethargic, anorexic, kind of a lot of the basic things, but watch for that. Something you can do at home is cool them off with just water. Got to be a little careful you don't cool them off too fast, but something you can do at home that's a little bit easy. Water and put them on a fan for a few minutes and then take it off because you don't want to go from one extreme to the other. Once again, that can cause some issues. So thanks again for submitting the question. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys and have a great summer.